What we've been looking at is what role do sharks play on coral reefs. And in order to do that, we've compared two reefs in northwestern Australia. We have a reef um, called the Rolly Shoals, where sharks are really abundant, it's a marine reserve. And then we have the Scott Reefs, um, a couple of hundred kilometres away from that. And there, Indonesian fishers have removed sharks over the last few centuries. And as a result, numbers of sharks have substantially declined. Um, and what we can do here is compare those two reefs in order to get a really good understanding of the role that sharks play on coral reefs. So the first thing we found is that sharks are indeed far less abundant at Scott Reefs. The fishers have removed um, the largest sharks, uh, they've reduced the diversity and they've even reduced the size of the sharks. And this seems to have had knock-on effects on the rest of the fish communities. So we found that small fish, the kinds of fish that sharks might eat, are around 0 to 30 centimetres, are far more abundant where sharks are rare. And what we're also finding is that um, these fish are fish at the bottom of the food chain. So when you put it all together, what this suggests is that sharks do indeed have an effect on coral reefs. And when you remove them, you get increases in the kinds of fish which can really substantially alter the coral reef itself by eating algae. Algae is one of the main threats to coral reefs. Um, it can grow on the reef, it can block out the sun, um, and it can prevent coral from re-establishing itself. So what parrotfish um, and other fish at the bottom of the food chain do is they nibble away at that algae um, and they prevent it from overgrowing the reef. Far more interesting are the implications that this study has globally and in Australia. Throughout the world, we have marine reserves where sharks are protected from fishing, but we also have large fractions of the ocean which are not protected and where sharks are being uh, eradicated at a terrifying rate. Um, so what these results suggest is that um, globally we have a situation where by removing sharks we're going to see changes in the coral reefs, changes in the fish communities and we don't know where that's going to lead. We don't know what the knock-on effects are going to be on the coral reef itself.